Hey everyone, um, I know this video is about a week late getting out, um, things have been busy getting back from Florida, um, um, but, uh, anyway, I'm just now getting a chance to get this out, uh, there will be more, um, further review of this vest coming soon as, uh, myself, Mike and Joel, all three got to hunt out of this vest, and um, on top of that, Mike and Joel both actually ordered this vest um, just within the last couple of days, so they will do further, um, more hunting out of this vest, and we will each put our own spin on it. Joel got the hydration pack um, model, and Mike actually bought the... Um, uh, bird bag model plus the um, vertical pouches so there will be plenty more review to come of this vest um, these are just my initial thoughts after hunting in this vest for a few days um, so I hope this is all this uh, video is helpful for you guys hello we're uh, been in Florida a couple what three days now and today, the first couple days have been um, rather chilly uh, and uh, frankly unseasonable for the area. And um, but today we had a warm up. We're gonna hit a high of like what 80 degrees or something like that. Um, and I had to remove some base layers, so it gave me an opportunity to see what the tethered M2 vest is able to carry. Um, I just wanted to give show that. Um, demonstrate what that looks like I had leg gaiters on that were retaining heat so I took those off and I put those inside of this bungee on the back also I had a base layer pant on that I have folded up and rolled up inside of those leg gaiters I took off a base layer top, long sleeve base layer top. Oh, I guess this is the pants. And uh, this is the pants, and this is a long sleeve base layer top, a thin one. And this is a thicker long sleeve base layer top with a hood on it. So um, those were bungeed back here and shoved into the backpack. So, yeah, I mean, it would have carried more if I needed it to um, in that bungee and a little bit more in the backpack if need be. Um, the bladder's been holding strong just with a few um, and, and it's been, the, not the water bladder, but the hose has been secured well. It's not uh, bothering me at all whatsoever. As far as the minimalist setup that I'm not really used to, I am still getting used to that, so I'm gonna go through some reconfiguring soon, but so far, zero complaints.